Hello, I'm Casey Dinges, Senior Managing Director for Public Affairs, Membership, Leadership and Programs at the American Society of Civil Engineers. Thanks for joining us today for a discussion about autonomous and connected vehicles. My guest today is Randy Iwasaki, Executive Director of the Contra Costa Transportation Authority. CCTA is a public agency formed by Contra Costa County voters in 1988. CCTA's Go Mentum Station, located at the former Concord Naval Weapons Station in Concord, California, is a testing ground for connected and autonomous vehicles. Mr. Iwasaki works with the Go Mentum Station to understand how autonomous and connected vehicles can best support communities and what role government agencies will need to play to ensure this happens. Randy, according to the Gartner Group, by the year 2020, there will be 250 million connected vehicles on the road. And Tesla recently introduced autonomous driving technology to its tens of thousands of Tesla owners. How do connected vehicles differ from autonomous vehicles? Let's start with autonomous vehicles. Autonomous vehicles basically have the technology built within them in order to drive by themselves. So the goal is hands off wheel, feet off pedal. And so the cars can maneuver safely and obey all the, the rules of the road in the future autonomously. The connected vehicle is a little bit different. You have connectivity through a, a frequency that is set aside for transportation purposes called dedicated short range communication. DSRC is sometimes the acronym that you hear. And it's at the 5.9 gigahertz spectrum, so it's very low latency. And so the idea is a car can communicate out its position, its speed, the weather conditions, 10 pulses per second, and then it gives other cars that receive that information and they're putting out the same safety messages or informational messages, 10 messages per second. And it gives these cars a better situational awareness of the environment around them. And so those cars will be connected car to car. So Randy, do we have a sense now whether autonomous or connected technologies, you know, which one will, will kind of win the day in the end, or will they, can they both happen simultaneously? Or? Yeah, I don't think one um, technology depends on the other, per se, to, to deploy. I think you read a lot in the newspapers and the magazines about autonomous driving, automated vehicles, and then you don't hear as much about the connected vehicle. And I think that ultimately what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a rollout, in my opinion, of the connected vehicles will be commercial based, so trucks. But we're really excited about this autonomous technology or automated technology where the car drives itself. Just it driving by itself is great, but when it talks to others, you're gonna ha just have this great transportation system, and I think it's gonna redefine mobility is the term that we use at the authority. On the infrastructure issue, what, what kind of infrastructure changes will need to be made to accommodate autonomous and connected vehicles? So if we separate them on an autonomous vehicle, the infrastructure or the technology is embedded in the car. But on the connected vehicle, the real benefit, once again, is when the owners of the transportation system can fine tune their system because they're getting better information from the vehicle to vehicle communication. And as I mentioned before, you can fine tune the signals, you can sync the signals, so you don't have to be the only one at a stop sign or stoplight waiting for the light to turn green and nobody else is around. In the future, the intersection will be a lot smarter and the cars will be telling I'm coming and it'll prepare for that car if it's the only car entering that intersection. So there's a lot of great opportunities, not only from a safety perspective, but imagine not idling as much in the future so your, your environment's gonna improve. I mean, for example, will, will we be able to squeeze more cars into you know, limited lanes that are available? Will they be able to travel closer together safely? So connected vehicles and autonomous vehicles, when you merge that technologies together, you're gonna to end up being able to follow closer because the front car will know that the, or the rear car will know the front car is starting to break and so it will break before the human starts breaking. And so the headway between the vehicles will decrease, therefore making your system more efficient. So where, let's say you put 2,000 vehicles per lane through a system today, if they can follow closer, you might get 2,500, 3,000 vehicles per lane <laughs> now you're creating a more efficient use of your existing infrastructure. You know, as much as the public um, cares about safety, um, are they willing, is the American public willing to give up that, you know, that sense of freedom they have behind the wheel? I think that this is a niche, I think it's going to start out as a kind of a niche 
market for people that can't drive. If, if you're if you're handicapped, you you have cerebral palsy, for example, and you you still want to see your friends. My mother's 81 years old, and she doesn't want to drive to see her granddaughter, but she still wants to see her granddaughter. And so, we're trying to find ways of providing mobility, not for people like us that can drive still, and that may be debatable on my side, but <laughs> people that still can drive, but we're really focused in on those folks that, that the first and last mile issue, how do you get to transit? You're, you're getting older because the population in the United States is getting older. How do you provide mobility services to those folks? And so you also are, are going to be able to provide that in the future and very excited about that. We've our partners at GoMentum Station are, are excited about bringing this technology as soon as they can to market. And so I, I think it's going to have a transformational effect on our, our transportation system in the United States, if not the world. Randy, thank you so much for joining me today for this very informative and interesting discussion on connecting and self-driving vehicles. For more information on ASCE's interchange program, visit ASCE.org. Thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time on the ASCE Interchange.